Yo, what is good, everyone? Your favorite channel, Thucyla here, and uh, today I'm recording uh, ADV World Cup, and uh, this is East versus Europe, Badass versus We Three Kings. Uh, if Badass wins this one, East wins the World Cup because they are 5-2 up right now, and if We Three Kings uh, wins this one, the Europe Dream is still alive. They gotta win two more. Uh, Boyd and Ricardo have to win, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's just the ADV game for a World Cup right here. So let's start off. See a Metagross lead versus the Skarm here. Um, the Magneton comes hard in right here, and uh, that Thunderbolt kills. That means it's Magnet or it was Fidef Skarm. Um, yeah, so that goes down here. Uh, but he has the Duck Tree on the back that reveals why he didn't really scout for the Magneton there. He could just revenge it with the Dougie after. So he has a spike up right here. That's a good situation, but the Skarm comes out here. We Three Kings sends out the Moltres right here. Uh, really cool Pokemon, yeah. I really uh, think Moltres is a cool Pokemon. Has Will O Wisp support, which you are going to see here. Uh, Will O Wisp going to come off onto the Snorlax. Uh, it's a really crippling Snorlax because it just needs that. Yeah, cool Pokemon. Badass also says that. And um, boss, I'm on the Gengar. You can just pivot out right here uh, in the Gengar and then pivot back out in a pert. Uh, as you see here, 10%. That 10. That does nothing. So, uh, he goes in the Zapdos. We Three Kings does predict that uh, greatly with a roar. And uh, let it see what happens. Ooh, uh, explosion hitting the per. Uh, and of course, the Metagross. The Metagross are boomed. Uh, hitting the pert, no protects or uh, some switch coming off right here. So the pert does go down. That could be kind of huge, not gonna lie, because he has like three electric types on the squad right here Magneton plus Zablos plus Jolteon, no water type around. We Three Kings reveals last mom, Blissey, right here. Um, Blissey could be a severe problem if that mass Snorlax does go down. Uh, Snorlax is coming on the baton pass right here. Toxic, uh, miss, of course, doesn't matter. Or Snorlax already burned. Uh, now he can go in, I guess, in a Gengar to pivot. Gengar comes right out in here to pivot on the body slam. Now, if he really wants to, if he predicts his Shadow Ball here, he can go ahead and Dougie Trap Blacks, and then Blissey can, I guess, just clean up right here. Shadow Ball hits the Dougie. Uh, it's not a Lax, just traps. It cannot go anywhere. Bop goes down. And he can just send out his uh, flying types right here. Zadlis has come out. Goes in the Gengar. Toxic. Aiming for the Blissey, but hits the Gengar. Lewis hits the Zap, those. Uh, hindering it right here. Thunderbolt hits the Gengar for a massive chunk. He can just send out uh, into his. He can go out into his or his fat thing. Toxic hits the Dougie. Uh, that, I, I guess that's fine. Dougie isn't going to put in a lot of. I like any work. Jolteon outspeeds it. Um, I'm pretty sure. Like, uh, yeah. Jolteon outspeeds it. And he has two flying types. It's not going to put in work. Rock Slide right here. Uh, on the Skarm. Gengar comes out here predicting the Toxic maybe. Uh, doubles into Jolteon though. That's an icy play. Now he can BP here on the Bliss switch. Does BP out on the Blissey. Goes in the Skarm right here. Now, this Blissey is a huge, huge threat. I, don't th I think Blissey can just solo this Toxic hit as the Ice Beam does come off from the Blissey. This just chips away at the Skarm. Blissey will uh, be forced to switch out eventually. As he just does it here, goes in the Gengar on the Toxic. Second Toxic. I'm not wanting, not letting his Moltres get Toxic. Well, it was miss on the Skarm. It's kind of nasty because Skarm now, like, with the, if that Willow hit, he would keep kept losing HP. And then that Blissey could have chipped it more easily. Uh, Jolteon does come back out here. Uh, Ice Punch onto Jolteon. The Nast. The Nasty. Blows it away. Nice freeze. Um, I don't think that freeze... Like, the freeze was kind of nasty. The freeze is kind of nasty, right? right. But, but um, he just he just keeps Ice Punch into Jol here. And um, he doesn't go out into his fat thing. Uh, which, I, I guess, he just ca tries to capitalize on the, fru on the freeze he gets here. Um, Jolteon can get this, uh, thaw. He can go out into the fat thing, but he just lets his Gengar get T-waved, which is fine. Like, Gengar gets free lefties out off of this, if Jolteon keeps being frozen. And now, if the Blissey is, a uh, Bolt Beam, he just wins, he just cleans up. Um, goes out hard out into the man. The Bliss! And the Bliss can now just start just hammering away with the Bolt Beam. Because, uh, it is gonna be revealed, uh, soon, that it's Bolt Beam. So, Blissey putting in the huge work. Um, yeah, so Blissey just T-bolts right there, revealing that it is indeed a Bolt Beam Blissey. And, uh, yeah, that just wraps the game right up here. Like, neither of these mods can even touch Blissey. Except, like, Toxic from the thing, from the Skarmory. So, sorry if this, uh, 
analysis, like, I don't know how to call it. It's a bit head ass. I'm, uh, I'm a bit tired, but I gotta make some content for Dr. H. Um, really good game from We Three Kings. Uh, trying to eliminate everything for the Blissey. Mangtong going down really quickly. Metagross going down to the boom. Uh, Snow Knight's going down to the burn from Moltres, plus the trap. The show plus Blissey, plus Skarmory. The, the, the stall core also working in Gen 3. It's stall. I feel it. I mean, this is this is like kind of some fat stally shit, I guess. But uh, three electric types, very interesting team on badasses part. So uh, yeah, good game. The Europe dream is still alive. So uh, peace. Europe better win this one. Force a tiebreak. Now I'm saying.